You know, it seems like everybody's pretty stressed these days. That's an understatement. But don't you miss the simple things in life? Like just going to a movie theater, the smell of popcorn, and seeing movies the way we used to, right? Well, it's back, thanks to the folks at the Carolina Theater. They have a feel-good movie series that will start next week. I spoke with director Brian Gray all about this must-see event. Well, Brian, you know, you had me when I read Feel Good Movies because that's exactly what we need right now. Talk about the series and how this idea came up and what do you hope to get out of this? What, what will we get out of this? So my son was in town and we were looking at some things that we could bring here and, and a whole series of Feel Good Movies just seemed like the right thing to do. So I'm calling it the mid-pandemic post-election Feel Good Flicks. <laughs> And uh, they start the Thursday right after the election and run two or three a week all through the month of November. So let's talk about what type of selection do we have here because feel good is a broad term. Well, what we were hoping with the, uh, the feel good movies was to find something that would hit all genres. So we have something for the kids like E.T. and Lion King, just wonderful movies that, that folks will enjoy. We've got hidden figures coming in. We've got Remember the Titans, just some fun, silly stuff like Airplane and uh, just some good classic laughing movies like Forrest Gump. We're hoping to get uh, Casablanca and Singing in the Rain. So we have some for all generations. Well, it really is about the most eclectic group of movies that you'll see. And, and I mean, I, I think that's great. If, if you're trying to, you know, sell this, I guess the selling point would be the fact that, that we all just need a break once in a while and go back to something classic. We do. And, and you know, when we announced the first one, we just did uh, Hocus Pocus this week. And the folks that came in for the movies, you know, right now we're about the only game in town if you want to get out and see a movie and have some popcorn. They were thrilled to come in. And when they came in, you know, they we went through all the COVID protocols and, and you know, the things that you should be doing and have to do. And everyone felt safe and secure. But then when they left, they had smiles on their faces and just really had a good time. There is no, You can watch movies at home all you want to, but there is nothing like a theater and the smell of popcorn in a good movie. Brian, thank you so much for doing this, and we'll see you there at the theater. Yeah, it is, uh, it, it is true that just being in that big room, hearing other people laugh along with you or crying some of the cases of those <laughs> movies and smelling that popcorn, you can do it. You can get back and experience that. And these movies are incredible. Back to the Future. I mean, there, there's just a lot of good fun Singing movies. Singing in the Rain. I need you to tell me what day that is happening on because Singing in the Rain is my all-time favorite movie. If I'm feeling sad, I watch it. If I'm feeling happy, I watch it, no matter what mood I'm in. Also, Chilton, so much is going on at your house right now. I just feel like you need to tell me if you're running the no. Roomba and why are they, why the sirens? No, so, so um, our director has been saying that to me and I thought it was my neighbor like um, doing the yard work, but that stopped and he says he still hears it. I have no idea what the noise is. It's a ghost. Hmm, mystery, mystery at the Chilton house. <laughs> I will say though, I, I am pretty excited to see E.T. again. I haven't seen that in probably more than 10 years. Uh, and that's, I think, almost came out the year I was born. That's crazy, too. Yes, and this is, I mean, this is how movies are meant to be watched. In a theater, with the snacks, sitting next to someone. I think that this is awesome that they're doing this, and they're doing it in a safe way. So kudos. Chilton, figure out who's vacuuming in your house. It's perfect. <laughs> it, <laughs> I don't know what that is.